fact, General Michael Flynn, we hardly knew ye. The national security advisor is gone after less than a month in the White House. He was brought down after his conversation with Russia's ambassador to the United States was wiretapped by U.S. intelligence, despite protections that are supposed to block such wiretapping of U.S. citizens. Perhaps Flynn deserved to go for apparently lying to the vice president, but even if he did, what does it say about U.S. intelligence that it may be spying on the administration? Congressman Ruben Gall Gallego uh, of Arizona was one of the Democrats who demanded the firing of General Flynn, and he joins us now. Congressman, thanks all for coming on. Thank you, Tucker, for so, having me. As you know, the law requires a warrant from the FISA court in order to proceed with a wiretapping such as this. And the law specifies that if an American citizen is caught up in that wiretapping, that his identity be protected and the content of his side of the conversation also be protected. That didn't happen, and somehow this information was leaked to the press. Are you for that? No, clearly we're not for that. Clearly we want every American to have their due process and have their civil rights defended. Right. Um, also, at the same time, like there's something that's been very questionable that's going on. Uh, we believe, obviously, that this was in the course of some type of wiretapping of the Russians, and they happened to actually catch somebody else in the process. But at the same time, you know, I think the best way to answer this is to have a full investigation. Let's have this uh -huh. go through the proper process so that way, if there is anything questionable, questionable about what occurred, that that does get fleshed out. And I think General Flynn is owed that, and I think the American public is owed that. Well, I, I, agree. I agree with you completely, but here's what we already know. We don't, by the way, know exactly the content of this conversation, because as far as I know, there are no copies of the transcript. Have you seen the transcript yourself? No, we have not, which is why I think an okay, investigation so, at some point or another right, would be no, that, more valid. Th that's, that, that sounds right to me, uh, so we can proceed with the knowledge that we're ignorant of what exactly was said, but we know something was said. But we know for a fact that a U.S. intelligence agency wiretapped an American citizen, a private citizen, he was not uh, a part of the U.S. government at the time in December when this happened, and they leaked it to the press. Now, is there anything more dangerous, really, than a U.S. intelligence agency, which exists to monitor activities abroad, foreign governments, turning against a political enemy and destroying him. Whatever you think of Flynn or his fitness for the office, that's the most disturbing part of this, isn't it? Well, I think the more dangerous part is some type of subterfuge that was going on with our election, if there was any kind of collusion with a campaign, whether they know it or not. Now, obviously, that this is something that we should investigate, and, that's, and I agree, I'm very happy you agree with me, Tucker, on that. Uh, but that's what needs to happen here. And if there was some type of uh, illegal manner that this was obtained that violated General Flynn's uh, rights, then we should investigate that also. But at the same time, something went wrong here. Um, we know that General Flynn lied uh, to the vice president, made uh, the current president uh, at least somehow be embarrassed by this. Uh, and, you know, there needs to be an investigation. This is why we have oversight as Congress. No, at actually, point, you've, you've got it exactly... You've got it backwards. Now, clearly something went wrong between Flynn and the president and the vice president, but we don't know. We don't know that he lied because we don't know the contents of his conversation. So we actually don't know that. What we do know is that the leaking of his identity is illegal. Like, we know that. That's not speculation. We don't need an investigation to ascertain that. And we know that it came from an intelligence agency because they're the ones that do the spying. So here's what you have. You have bureaucrats whom nobody elected seeking to undermine the elected representatives of the United States government. Isn't that, again, a threat to the way we run our country, to the democracy itself? You can't have the intelligence agencies going rogue, can you? Well, I think the bigger threat to democracy is an international uh, entity, such as uh, what we saw Russia get involved in our elections. But again, I think what you bring up is a very valid point, and this is why we should have an investigation, and it should cover all aspects of this, too. Uh, you know, General but, but, but wait, wait, hold on. Sure wait, wait, why would we person. need an investigation? Again, we agree on the investigation part. I'm always for more information, pretty much. But since we already know that, I'm just wondering why it's not at the very center of your concern. Since the intelligence agencies, just as you know, since you're a member of Congress, went to Harvard, you know that they exist to gather intelligence for the president in order that he might make foreign policy. Their purpose is not to make foreign policy, much less to execute it. It's to give the president information so that he can do that. But it looks really clear in this case, they disagreed with the president's foreign policy and they're trying to undermine it. Well, That's we don't a know, scary thing. Well, we don't know what actually was occurring in the background of it, which uh, you know, I think is very valid for all of us to be concerned and ask questions. But I think also, again, 
Like I agree with you, Tucker, the best way to flesh this out is through a proper investigation. We know General Flynn was in contact with uh, the ambassador. We know he was in violation of a tradition where there's only one president at one time. We know that he at least misrepresented his conversation with the president and the vice president. We know that the attorney general, I'm sorry, not attorney general, the assistant attorney general of the Department of Justice had actually warned the White House about this situation. Uh, and there is just a lot of questions that are still out there. The best well, way to solve but, but, but this wait, is for wait, us wait to have a what do you mean investigation. Look, I'm not, I'm not here to defend what, what defend what Flynn did because, like you, I'm not really sure what Flynn did. He says he did not discuss sanctions. He did not promise to lighten the load on Russia or anything like that. But again, we don't know, neither you nor I. But what do you mean he was the tradition of only one president at a time? You're not suggesting that U.S. citizens don't have a right to call officials either of this government or other governments. And I feel like I have a right to do that, don't you? Uh, you have a right to do that, but not when you are so close to a campaign that you're trying to influence the diplomatic outcome. Um, the president was, at that point was President Obama. Jerome Flynn was uh, potentially involving himself uh, in, within the relationship between the United States uh, and Russia. The president had just issued sanctions regarding um, you know, violations of what we assumed were tampering uh, by Russian intelligence. And the right. fact that he called right afterwards, uh, I think, is questionable. And I think, again, this yeah, is why we well, should have an investigation. Okay, but, but again, here's what we know, that the U.S. government is spying on American citizens and not keeping that information secret. Now, you're, you know, I don't think you're some kind of crazy lefty, but you're on the left, and the left has a long tradition of standing up for civil liberties. And the most basic civil liberty of all, as you often say, is privacy. And you need that. It's a yeah. prerequisite for freedom. So if you don't have any privacy from the U.S. government spying on you, like things fall apart. Why aren't you more upset about that? Well, I think also we may have to understand what actually is going on here. We have a um, Republican Congress that's not exactly doing oversight right now. And for all we know, and this is why we have to have an investigation, that our uh, you know, whistleblowers, if, if we want to call them that, may have felt that they weren't getting the attention that was needed to something that was extremely uh, a dangerous situation. Again, let's remember that the Attorney General, wait, Assistant wait, wait, Attorney wait, wait, General. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm sorry, sorry, stop, stop, stop there. So you think it's, you're suggesting it could be legit. There are circumstances under which you can imagine it would be legitimate for someone in an intel agency, someone you're calling a, quote, whistleblower, to leak the identity of a U.S. citizen and the contents of his private phone conversation? You're saying that could be legitimate? Well, if you, have no oversight, if you have no oversight that's actually occurring by any entity within the government, and at the same time, you have the Assistant Attorney General who warned the Trump administration that there is potential leaking and blackmailing situation with someone like General Flynn who is sitting within the National Security Council. This is a very serious situation. So again, wait, but hold on. First of all, wait, uh, there's, there's no, uh, that was her personal assessment. Whether it's true or not, we don't know. But you seem to, I just want you to say unequivocally, you should not break the law by spying on U.S. citizens and then leaking illegally the contents of those conversations to the Washington Post. Like if we can't agree that that's a bad thing, then what's the basis for a conversation here? Like, just agree, if you would, that that's out of bounds, or should be. Well, I think any U.S. citizen has certain privacy rights that we should all respect. I think General Flynn may yeah. have crossed the line. And at the same time, I'm willing to investigate this and actually look at this at the full scope of what occurred there. And if General Flynn's violations, if there's any violations that actually occurred to General Flynn, then that should also be remedied, too. At the same time, what do you mean? We, we, we know that they occur, we, we know that they occurred. Again, that's not a debate point. We know as a factual matter that the law was violated. So we'll just, let's just say that. It doesn't mean that Flynn's a great guy, just, but the law was violated, right? Well, I think of an investigation would actually act, give us more information yeah. than just us speculating back and forth. Again, look, that's the Assistant Attorney General said, said that this person... That's the one person, part of our conversation that's not the, speculating. Well, look, the Assistant Attorney General said that this person right. is potentially compromised, could potentially be blackmailed, and is sitting okay, in very sensitive situations. Right. Well, this is a very it's serious situation. still illegal to leak his name. Period. All At right. the same time, this right is why time. we should have a full investigation about what occurred. All right. I got that. Congressman, thanks a lot. Thank you, Tucker.